So here we are back to the video, part three, um, the sneaker collection. Um, so this next pair is pretty, um, it's pretty like, uh, how do you say, exclusive in some way, but I'll explain, it's hard to understand. So this was a uh, part of the Air Jordan 1 um, Bloodline. Um, for the Air Jordan 1. So the only thing I really know about the shoe is that it is a part of a foam posit pack. So there's a foam posit that goes with this. It's called the Air Jordan 1 Bloodline um, Splatter Foam Posit. Um, this shoe is like your basic colorway. Um, but it has like this red piping within the shoe, which gives it like a, the actual bread look. Um, I don't know too much about this line of uh, the Bloodline. I do know it's uh, a foam posit in the Jordan 1 High. I believe there's another shoe. I don't know if it's an Adidas or another shoe that takes the name too of the Bloodline. So the thing about this that makes it more rare is um, I picked this shoe up and uh, a lot of people were like, why'd you buy that shoe? Why'd you cop it? First, I didn't realize till then I realized um, it has the Chicago colorway, if you notice. Um, has the white and uh, the black leather top for the um, uh, upper of the shoe um, with the same silhouette as the Chicago ones. So what makes it uh, more stand out is the red, how they put the red piping. So if you resemble and look at the Chicago one, you can also see that this is based off the same silhouette of the Chicago one with the red, the red bottom, and um, the design of the black and the white. So basically that's why I got these, um, just for the fact of that reason. Um, this had to do with the pack of uh, shoes that were coming out with uh, different uh, meanings and sayings. So this one was, uh, who said man was not meant to fly? Um, and it comes with some exclusive laces with writing, with some kind of a writing on it. So it's just basic, you know. Jordan 1 Chicago. I'm not Chicago, but Jordan 1 colorway of a Chicago. So the next shoe is the Air Jordan 8 Aqua Women's. Um, so I picked this up in uh, the city of Montclair at a shopping center. Um... I got a still on these. It was like 130. The shoe wasn't like a it's retail price. Um, so the thing about the this shoe was that the Jordan 8 was released in uh, women's years ago, and uh, a lot of people really loved the colorway. And uh, so the Nike brand was, I guess, trying to re. Um, retro it or re reissue it in a in the same colorway but the only thing is that they couldn't come out with a men's size so it was a women's shoe that this originally um, originated in so when this was released it was a release but it was released through the Nike sneaker app it wasn't um, actually like released to stores, but it was just released on their app and then it would pop up in stores wherever it was at. And I apprehended a pair. Um, and I got lucky because it says here, 
size 12. But this is an actual women's size 12. But in men's, it is a 10 and a half. So it's my size. So I got very fortunate to get it in my size. Um, I don't plan on wearing these until, you know, the right day comes. So um, this is actual women's release. Um, a lot of these weren't released in stores. They were online purchases. So you had to basically get them online through Nike sneaker app. Most of them were sold out. So it's just basically a reflective upper with the aqua colorway silhouette for the Air Jordan 8. And uh, so what happened was when these were released, they released them in women's, but really they were meant for a lot of the sneaker heads that wanted these. Most of them were, you know, male. So it was kind of difficult for people to understand how to get those. And most people were like, they're women's, but I guess they did that just so like true sneakerheads can get them or know like how to apprehend them in their size. So the next shoe I'll be showing is the Air Jordan 8 Undefeated. Um, it's inspired by the Jordan 4 Undefeated. Um, this is also known as the um, Take Flight Pack. So um, this shoe was actually sitting in shelves at uh, Foot Locker when it was released. Uh, it came out on like a random day. It was just exclusive sitting there for general release. Uh, I didn't realize it was an undefeated until then. I realized like, damn, dude, like the shoe is not there now. Now I now I like kind of slept on it. I thought it was just the Olive Eight colorway, or also known as a Sequoia colorway. Then I realized it was the undefeated. And that's when I was like, it's time to take action. So I picked these up through a reseller. Um, I think he sold them for like one something. Um, and I was just like, felt like I had to do my history on these shoes. So originally this was a sample of this shoe was made. That was made. Um... So they got the idea from the Undefeated 4s. They created a Sample 8. Uh, I believe it was a sneaker. Um, I want to say a sneaker um, collector or a sneaker shop owner. And uh, his store created the, the sample pair. Uh, it roughly looked like this. I'm not sure if they actually made the shoe or they found the shoe in that and already made. But it was originally a sample. And then what Nike did was re retro it into their own version inspired by the Undefeated 4. And that's how this came about. So basically you have the Jordan 8 with the playoff um, pattern. Um, and then you have like the Undefeated colors from um, Undefeated LA. Uh, it's a pretty dope shoe. Very nice. Something to have in your collection to brag about. Uh, in the last video, I'll be doing the last four pairs. So just stay tight for video number four.